Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. We are talking about memory management. The next topic in series is memory protection and mapping. Now, one question remains is protection from what and protection for what? Well, technically speaking, we have OS, we have user and we have user processes. Whenever we talk about these things, we always come across one issue that the way your RAM is going to be distributed between OS and its user. We already said that it would be either distributed in this manner, that is the starting half is given to the OS followed by remaining to the user or this way, where the starting is given to the user and the remaining is given to the OS. Now, after understanding this thing, there would be new question. Are we trying to say there will be only one user? The factor remains is no. OS would have definitely multiple users, let's call them end users. When OS has end users, the biggest issue would be how to save each other from each other space. That means if I say user 1 has a memory access to a particular limit, the second user may be a bigger program. What if it tends to take more space and there can be another user who may take extra space what's a guarantee this user is not going to take space from pre-allocated data or from the user which is following it so under that scenario protection from each other would also be needed the same thing can be understood with reference to a normal block diagram where we have user 1 we have user 2 we have user 3 we have user 4 what is the guarantee that user 1 or rather let's say user 3 is not playing smart and extending itself if it extends itself it will tend to take some part of some part of user 4 and some ending part of user 2 now this kind of things should be should be stopped hence this is the topic called memory protection and for protection how would you map these things the entire topic talks about the same stuff let's go with the next in memory management, we have two basic register, the base register and the limit register. The base register will store start point. The limit register stores distance or you can say offset from base. This is very vital because each one of us should be clearly understanding where to set or rather where to start and where to end. If you remember, many of us might have faced this situation in railway. Yes, you heard it right. I'm talking about railway benches. Think about it. Ideally, it is made for three people. That includes one, two, and three. But what happens? Sometimes we overlook this and somehow the fourth seat gets squeezed in, making three, two, and one go to the other side. This is not allowed in terms of operating system. So what we will do? As we have said, we would be using base and limit register. Each process executed by every user will have its own base and limit registers are used by every process for every user. Each process would have its own base and limit register. Now this time things would look something like this. I'm clear as a user one, I'm very clear about where to start that is a base register and where to stop that's a limit register which is nothing but base plus offset what is offset is the distance from the base to the next that is offset the diagram would look something like this consider this example now in this particular thing consider each process is different that means this is maybe process x this is process x y and z for the process X we have mentioned is the base which clearly indicates where to start from and where to get over. So any address given, suppose we say address let's say 3000070. This would be evaluated whether this is in range of start to in range of end. That's the basic idea. 
the algorithmic way or a flowchart way shows something like this when you're given an address consider a small address maybe in memory maybe in memory we are starting at 100 and we are going up to 300 technically speaking base would be 100 and limit would be of 200 putting together first base would check whether user is specifying within above 100 or not and when the base is combined with the next suppose we want to address 110 it will come back 110 is greater than the base which is 100 goes ahead limit is 200 combining with the limit we would have starting from 100 we will have 100 plus 200 making it 300 for the final call 110 is greater than that so 110 would be accessed in terms of the memory so this is how protection in memory is given thanks for watching this video